Hello and welcome to the Making Musical Quantum Lips podcast, where we're here to support you in taking your singing skills to the next level. I'm your host, Coach Worship, and I'm thrilled to have my co-host, Jamie, with me. In this podcast, we'll take you on a 30-day podcast marathon, teaching you everything you need to know about diction for singers. Diction is the art of pronouncing words clearly and expressively, using your voice parts to make sound and speech. Diction is essential for singers, as it helps you share your message, emotions, and style with your audience. Each day, we will explore a different topic related to diction, such as vowels, consonants, syllables, stress, intonation, accent, dialect, and more. We will also give you practical tips and exercises to improve your diction and singing performance. By the end of this podcast marathon, you will have a better understanding of how your voice works and how to use it effectively. So join us on this exciting journey of learning and singing. You can subscribe to our podcast on Spotify or on any other listening platforms. You can also follow us on Twitter at the Making Musical Quantum Leaps podcast or email us at joinusingschoolofsounds at gmail.com if you have any questions or feedback. Today we're going to discuss another term in diction and that term is vowel modification. Vowel modification is just a concept that describes how we change the way we sing our vowel sounds when we sing higher or lower. Vowel modification is not a way, it's not the main way to train your voice to sound better or sing better. However, it is a way to balance the muscles in your throat that controls your vocal cords. I know I would have some people that would come and ask me, how do we control the muscles in your throat? (laughs) Please do not come. Okay, these muscles are not like your hands that you control. You control them basically by how you shaping your mouth and all that okay let's move on when you're doing your vowel modification you should try not to change the vowel sound by moving your jaw your lips or mouth on purpose the vowel sound will change by itself naturally as you go higher what why we are teaching you about this is so that you allow it okay we are not saying you should try it like you should intentionally want to bend it but allow it to happen some of us want to hold tightly to the sound of those vowels i get um okay there's a difference between vowel modification for people that are singing classical by classical i mean those kind of people and for us that are doing contemporary kind of singing so for those that are doing classical kind of singing when they are doing their vowel modification they are not really concerned about the words but they are more concerned about having a more aesthetic tone a more beautiful sounding um, tone but we that do contemporary singing we care about the words in fact we want to sing in such a way that every word is as though we are speaking it so when you're modifying for um for your singing your contemporary singing do not overly modify the word one and you should allow it happen don't hold tightly the reason why we're saying do not hold tightly is is because if you hold tightly to that vowel without allowing it to modify it's going to cause tightness it's going to cause you to squeeze and trust me you don't want that this explains the reason why some of you squeeze on high notes I have an audio clip from an American vocal coach, Seth Riggs. He's the founder of the singing technique called Speech Level Singing. He was the coach of the infamous Michael Jackson. So he and his wife in this audio clip were teaching in a singing workshop on how to better modify sounds. Because when you modify sounds appropriately, you save your voice. Because instead of squeezing through, squeezing through till you get to that high note, you open up and sing more comfortably. So it will save you vocal damage. It will help you save your voice. So listen and I hope you understand. Or better still, I trust you understand. Do we have questions so far? Yes. Um, I wonder what you think about a singer like Adele. Wide, wide vowels. She could just change it this much and she will save her voice. It's not last, it's la, uh, la. 
This is my last night with you. This is my last. Very different. And she only needs to change that, and she'll save her voice and her career. Career. Very simple. So if we go through these words, this is my last night with you. Hold me like I'm. No, she sings. Ma more is the word is more, not mar. Why don't you come up? What's your name? Me. Yes. Maria. To do that Maria. because she wants to not. She doesn't want to have canceled concerts uh, this summer, right? If your large doesn't go up, you can sing a better low and you can sing a better high. The main thing is that you do not have this lack of mixture in the middle. The low part is not really a problem, but if you go straight to the chorus, can you do that? Does anybody now know what she did that was not right? Yeah, I was. Yeah, you did Very pull wide. out the broad vowel. Okay. Okay, go, sing it on go, go, go. Lips up. Go, 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 go. Good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and there goes the rest of my stack. Do it again. And actually breathe down here. On go. On go. Go, 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 go. Okay, do it again. Nay, 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 nay. Good. Very good. See, yeah. it's away from that wide vowel that spreads. Again. Now you're gonna sing other side. Hello from the other side. Don't say other side. Other side. Other side. Sir, uh, side. Other side. Not other side, other side. You have to go vertical if you feel like you're shoving it up to you, into your heart palate and you raise your larynx and you feel like you're struggling. You're wrong. Hello from the other side. I must have gone a thousand times to tell you I'm sorry for everything that I Welcome back. So try out what you heard in that audio clip. Try singing hello from the other side on higher octave and try hello from the other side. I, I, I know most of you will not hear the difference, but if you pay attention, you would hear the difference. One is more curved than the other. You can go back and play that audio clip over and over and over that part over and over again to get the difference and see how much easier it is to do the latter than the former okay now let's try that this is my last <laughs> okay you can try that and do the easier one which is this is my le last night last night okay you can try that out so i want to tell you some of the things you should never do when you're modifying your vowels okay one of it is never over modify the vowel to the point where it loses its clarity and meaning i mean you should always aim for the purest execution of each vowel that the pitch allows like try your best because i've heard a lot of things out there people overly yahweh covenant keeping good good yahweh covenant keeping good you never leave me you say that you will forsake me you are beside me and that is all that matters you are covenant keeping good i'm like well good Come on, God can still be pronounced on that page. But some people are just, okay, so never try. Aim for the purest, in purest vowel that that pitch allows, okay? The next is, do not over modify, do not modify the word by spreading it wide or opening your mouth too much because it's to cause your tone to become too bright, except that is what you are aiming for. It's to become too bright or nasal or strident and that can make it harder to hit high notes. They are doing um, um, this is my last. Okay, that is not even modified. That's actually the word last. Okay, let's try another one. We have to, okay. Um, um, oh God. One night, oh, okay. You gotta love 
me did you hear that crack me opening all my mouth to modify me to me it would cause cracks it would make it even harder to sing that word another one is do not try to modify the vowel by forcibly depressing your larynx raising your soft palate and flattening your tongue it's to create a covered or dark sound that is unnatural and unhealthy for your voice so you drop your larynx um and uh, can become boring it's one of the reasons why some people prefer contemporary than classical okay another is do not modify the vowel without considering the desired registration the tonal quality and the style of the song this is very very important like i said there are some some words should only be modified in when you have approached that your head voice register because if you modify them in your chest voice it just sounds terrible it sounds awkward and terrible or if you are not some of you don't even care about the tonal quality anymore you just want to make this the song kind of easier for you it's just i really hope you understand we'll talk more on this in our community talk more about it i know you have dozens of questions we would answer them in our community let's just move on our time is against us so you should always try to choose the appropriate vowel category they are narrow vowels they are medium or wide vowels shape your mouth accordingly do not modify the vowels by without practicing and listening to the results some of you don't care about the results it's the it's the words that matter it's not the please do not do this always experiment with different vowel shapes and find out which one works because it's not always the same i know you're listening to a song and you hear somebody do a a vowel modification somewhere it might work for the person but it might not work for you you are supposed to practice it and check if it works for you now when you are because of this podcast when you're listening to song you begin to listen to them differently take notes of the vowel modifications that the person did and see which one works for you try it out and say ah did it work for me did it make singing more easy for me because there are some rules in diction that i love so much one is comprehensive how comprehensive is that word how comprehensive is that well, this is the first one every other rule bows down to this one yeah if it is comprehensive then the next thing you're asking yourself is is it conveniently sung can you sing it conveniently without straining and the third one is is it beautifully sung and that's a wrap beautiful people if you've tuned in from day one to day five congratulations you've shown dedication and consistency and those are part of what makes a good no a great singer okay if you know anybody that is interested in this episode do not hesitate to share the links for the for this episode and for the previous episode also please spread the word and spread the good news our quote for the day is to sing is to pray twice and that was said by saint augustine I don't know who he is, but I found this quote very appealing. And apart from that, I was like, oh, brother, I relate. I really do understand. To sing really is to pray twice. Our song for the day is Haske by K Strings. Haske is a house word. I won't tell you what it means. Go ahead and find out. K Strings is a house vocalist, a house gospel artist, one of my favorites. And I felt I was recommending a song that is not English today. So yes, please do all and listen and I'm sure you're going to be blessed. Do not forget to follow us on Spotify and on every other listening platform. Do not forget to also like every episode as you listen. You can also feel free to leave a comment below and we're going to read it and respond to you. If you also want to join our community, do not hesitate to send us a DM. Our number is in the description box below. Connect with us on Twitter at the Making Musical Quantum News Podcast or email us at join eden school of sounds at gmail.com we love you so much we really appreciate you and we believe that you really do want to grow don't forget that your voice is peculiar to just you and you are unique and special just the way you are okay be proud of yourself and feel good about who you are i'm your co-host jamie and from coach worship it's bye we'll catch you next time